Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I didn't get to film an intro for this video, so that's why I'm filming this now. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I worked really hard on it. I really like it, and I hope you guys do too. Good morning guys, I'm painting my room today. So before I start painting, I have to move all my furniture in the middle of the room and then I have to lay down all like the tarpy stuff that goes around so it doesn't get on my carpet. And then my dad's just gonna cut the corners and then I can start painting. this light switch cover that my sister made a long time ago and I never took it out but I am going to be replacing it with a white one. My room now looks very white. Um, I mean it looked white before but it just looks so empty. I taped this up and I didn't tape up this one yet because I was charging my camera battery but everything is off. I just took those doors off. My dad is just going to Lowe's real quick to get spackle because there's a lot of holes in my room that we have to like spackle up. I actually don't have molding on some of my walls. I have it over here and over there, but I don't have it on these two walls. Or do I have it on these walls? No, I don't have it on these walls either. few days later from when I last filmed, I honestly don't remember when I last filmed. I think it was when I painted my room, but I got some things from my room that I just want to show you real quick before I like add it to my room. So the first thing I got was this blanket, and it's just a really, really cute blanket. I actually have not opened it yet, so I'll open it now. I got it from Target, and it was on sale originally 30 bucks, but I got it for 22 It's just a really soft fuzzy blanket and you could see the detailing and it has like gold sequins just like it kind of looks like this pillow I feel like it goes with it really well and in the end has like little fringe it's actually pretty big for my bed as you can see it's like really long and I only have a twin size bed so um I can just fold it it'll be fine because my bed's pushed against the wall so you won't see the other side anyways it's very nice for all year round I think because it has summery vibes but it's also really warm and fuzzy for winter and then we just got curtains because my curtains were really gross I had them since I was little and we just needed you know to revamp so I just have these like sheer oh great they're breaking it's just these sheer curtains from Christmas tree and they were just five bucks each so we got two two and then we're gonna hang them on this window here and then cut one of them for that window because it's small and we can just hem them so yeah um, me and my dad are actually gonna make my shelves now and probably get molding from Lowe's so let's go do that Oh, 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 oh. 
that from what I do it. Okay, so my white, what are these called? Curtain rods have dried, and before I painted them white, they were like an espresso brown, like blackish color. I forgot if I filmed the before of these, but this is the after. So now I'm just gonna take my curtains and put them on the rods. So it is a few days later again. So over here you could see I already hung up those curtains and I think I filmed that. But over here you could see that there's no curtains and that's because the curtains right there, um, we were supposed to cut those on the end and then take that excess and, paint and hang it right there. But there wasn't enough excess as you can see right here. Um, it just fits the window. So we have to get new curtains for that one. But I think I'm gonna do my bench today because I just got some foam rubber I was gonna buy this stuff from Amazon or like any store for that matter, but it's so expensive and I really didn't want to spend that money and then no stores had it so I had to order it and it was gonna come in like way too long. So I got this from my grandma's house. She just had this laying around. And then I'm not sure if I showed you guys yet, but I have this white fur that I'm gonna be putting over it and it's literally gonna look so cute, like a white fur bench. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is measure out this piece of foam and then cut it. Okay, my legs look so weird in this angle. I'm just gonna measure the length. So the length of the bench is 33 inches, and then the width is 14 inches. I'm also gonna measure 14 inches on this side just so I can get a straight line when I cut. And now I'm just doing it on like different parts of the fabric so I can keep in line. So I cut out the little strip of foam and now I'm going to attach it with the fur. And also the staple gun, which I don't really know how to use, but we'll figure it out. What do you think? New piano bench. Storage inside. Fluffy goodness on top. Can I sleep on it? <laughs> Literally, this is so annoying. And just like that, it's clean. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna actually try to vacuum this rug just so I can try getting the excess hairs off of it, but hopefully it, like, it won't just like pull them all out. So we're just gonna like test it real quick and then we'll see. Okay, I don't think it will, so let's go for it. Okay, that's good enough. It's probably gonna still like come off but maybe I can like brush it or something and keep vacuuming. I guess we'll see. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna give you a little update because this video is probably a mess. Um, it's filmed over like two weeks, which is, but we just finished my shelves, we did my molding, we painted my room, we, did a lot of things. Um, there. Okay, so I don't know where I left off. I have to go help with the groceries, but where do I leave off? I am going to paint my molding today. Um, like the molding that we didn't redo, like that we didn't put new ones in, like around the door, around the window, around this like shelf thing right here, 
and I'm also going to be painting these two doors because my door that um lets me go into my room is like this yellow color this yellow white and it just looks really bad so we're gonna paint that and then my closet door actually we need a whole new door but we're just not gonna do that right now because it costs a lot of money and we're trying to keep it lower budget because it doesn't have a handle so i'm just gonna paint it instead of getting a whole new door because i can deal with it without a handle it's fine i can just open it through the handle it's fine i'm not sure if we're gonna end up painting the ceiling hey guys so i am about to or my dad's about to put these little dowels in the wall right here for my ukulele um don't mind my appearance i didn't feel good earlier but i'm better now but um my dad did the window as you can see there's no more wood there so it's all fixed and yeah so we're just gonna attach these to the wall so we can hang out my ukulele Okay, so as you can see, I finished my Polaroid wall. Um, if you're wondering why I was kind of like putting them all over the place and like why I left some spaces around, but they're not in order of like when I took them or year or anything because there's a lot of old ones mixed in with like newer ones. Basically, I just don't want to put any similar ones next to each other that have the same people in it or the same things in it. I honestly love it, the wall right here. I just think it looks so much better than over there just because it's in more of like a confined space and like this wall's just pictures, you know, because it's only this skinny wall. So, yes, I think it looks really cute and I'm really happy with it. Hey guys, so it is 11.46. Um, it is a Wednesday. That's not important. But it is a late night right now. And I decided that I want to do some decorating because my room is pretty much done in like the hardware department hardware like building department kind of the night is when i get most of my stuff done that's why i go to bed so late because i'm just doing stuff i get creative at night it just all happens at night basically i'm making a little collage of pictures on a wall also if i'm speaking a little quiet it's because it's 11 48 at night and most of my family is asleep i kind of wanted to do that picture wall collage thing after i saw like avery ovard's wall and like other people started like making a wall and i was like i kind of like that but i don't want to be basic and just do that because i don't know so i was watching this video of this girl and her name is sincerely sarah and she made a video called room transformation and in this video she made a little wall of like pink pictures like a little like collage it's kind of that retro vibe and i loved it it was so cute just like not a whole wall just a little collage of pictures and so i thought that was such a great idea and i decided i wanted to do it too but instead of just having a pink collage i made it all colors and the theme of it is 80s 90s oh, actually it goes all the way back to probably like the 50s like 50s 60s probably skip 70s 80s 90s early 2000s um and kind of now like visco age okay so i got all of these pictures <laughs> Okay, so now that I showed you guys the pictures, I'm going to start hanging them up on my wall. And I decided that right here should be a good place. I'm totally done because this time lapse is probably really long. This 
is the final reveal. It is very late. That took a very long time. It is 2 